lot uh, let me read there are certain laws of prakriti some sort of harmony like if i put hand inside the fire it will burn the laws of prakriti are just for jeev universal mind is not bound by these laws of prakriti or is it too well i can refer you to the hermetic philosophy from the ancient egypt and there very beautifully they have described the all is mind and the mind is laws you see the mind is nothing but laws of the mind can there be a mind can there be creation can there be a structure without the laws think about it today is sunday you see a lot of time so think about it is the prakriti or the mind or the ishwar you know there are now so many names so many names so choose the one that you like <laughs> do not confuse they are they are talking about the same thing this immense sea of memories metaphysical information that's all it is you see you can call it the matrix if you want <laughs> it's popular these days you see buddhism simply mind chit so is there anything is these two things separate the mind and its laws are they separate no you see look at this house for example a building is the building separate from the structure or the rules that define the building no without the laws there won't be any prakriti without the laws there won't be any mind now the hermetic philosophy or even our yoga or tantra will also say that there are layers upon layers of prakriti and the higher layers they have full control over the lower layers and i see it as you know uh, emancipation i see as a freedom L layers of freedom that's why sometimes i call them layers of ignorance because uh, if you are ignorant you will see only the lower layers those who who can see the higher layers of the mind they can control the lower layers and by control they are f i mean they are freed they are freed they are not affected by the lower layers so you can imagine that as humans as this form i am very very limited very very at a very very low layer it is it is you know by definition we are in the material world which is very low now probably there are lower than this but uh, <clears throat> the material world or the mrityu lok or the prithvi lok is uh, or the dhara is uh, deemed is said to be the lowest <laughs> that's why it is called dhara is dhara means that which holds the foundation from which by the way the word dharm comes which means that which holds the fundamental knowledge is the dharm now unfortunately it got translated as religion in english it was called it caused a lot of mess isn't it so uh, this is the founding layer of the universal mind and therefore it is bound by all the laws of all the layers the uh, the layers above it and that is why we say that the jeev is bound in matter and that is why we say that uh, your mukti or your liberation will happen when you leave this lower layer when you're never born here again as this any kind of body you see human body is just use and throw thing is 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 the you know fit body for the current uh, environment because the, this uh, founding layer is no is not really stationary it is ever changing you can see it <laughs> see it is slow it is very very slow that's all yeah, billions of years it will change in billions of years so it is a stable platform for the jeev to grow and therefore we want to protect it there are very highly evolved minds in the universal mind they are looking after this prithvi this dhara this material world the simulation they take care that it's not destroyed they enhance its functionality as a school you see a school can be a building where you go and spend some time and come or the school can be a learning um, place place where you get to learn something where you grow uh, in knowledge so it was a place that the highly evolved people entities they have converted it into a learning place and that brings us back to the guides you see they're always available you need to ask that's all you need to take admission in the school <laughs> that's all the guidance is here it will appear because it's their playground they can make the knowledge appear in any way you want so the laws of prakriti just for jeev as long as jeev is bound to the uh, layers of the mind yes
it will follow the laws because there is no separation between the laws and the mind itself you see the memory is structure of the memory the interaction of the structures if it is meaningful we call it law if it repeats in a certain way again and again we call it a law it happens like this only so it is the law and if it does not happen in the same way we call it randomness randomness is not manifestation the mind cannot perceive randomness the mind can only perceive structure it is a deep uh, subject actually because that which got created become very convoluted it has a tendency to become very very complex very complex it must be your own experience <laughs> you know let us say you start a company a small company which buys things from here sells there you see and adds their label it's not going to remain like this either it will dissolve into randomness there won't be any company or it will become a giant corporation if you look after it <laughs> it becomes complex see how things have become here in this material world extremely complex extremely complex so the laws are this complexity otherwise we won't see it as a manifestation we will see without the laws we will see as a randomness or the mind won't be able to make any sense of it it is as good good as unmanifested state it is as good as the shesh with a potential to become manifested so i hope um, this clears it and if you want more information about how all this happening on the topic of universal mind there are many articles on my blog and there are many podcast episodes where i go into so much detail that you know it will keep you engaged for at least one year i'm not joking it will keep you engaged for a year now there are 200 episodes on the uh, more than 200 on this podcast and there are 100 blog articles there are videos and there are this and if you want you can go into this enter into the issuer it, and it's never ending it's never ending the complexity is never ending he's also asking that universal mind is bound by the laws of prakriti yes there won't be any mind if there is no law we call it laws because there is a structure there why is there is structure because it does self-organize itself and therefore we call we say that it creates it does not create it is not a thing that creates it is creation itself the creator is the creation itself it is happening so now you can trace back all these religious you know blind faith kind of ideas they all sprouted out of this philosophy and this is not Indian philosophy, let me tell you. It, there was the philosophy, the eternal philosophy that was always there on, in, on this material plane. Where else can it be, you see? So, when I say lower layer, do not think that it is some kind of inferior layer, you see? That's why it is called dhara, the foundation, that which holds everything. The knowledge is here. The knowledge of the universal mind is here. And it is being held by the yogis by the spiritual seekers it's not in the books it's not in this country or that country or himalaya or this temple no it's being held by the life itself <laughs> it is eternal knowledge and will remain so it never dies it pops out here and there whenever there are uh, uh, what do you call <clears throat> appropriate suitable conditions and the knowledge comes out as, as a form of philosophy darshan avad this or that and um, it is it was always there and now it sprouted in africa egypt or india or in china or, but uh, it is the same thing that keeps appearing so is this philosophy good is this philosophy true well if it is not this eternal knowledge of the universal mind then no it is not true this should be thumb rule and when you take a look at all all these great philosophies you will find that they are talking about only one thing <laughs> this is the same eternal knowledge yes they spice it up a little bit and then yes the ignorant people they turn it into religion and kill each other and insult each other hate each other that is human nature that is the nature of ignorance that is the nature of the jiva it is all perfect so that's why we always say that the Ishwar is, you know, forgiving. <laughs> does not mind. Does not mind whatever you do with it. A spiritual seeker, you know, stays away from it. It's, we have made ourselves kind of aloof from the effects of ignorance. And that's why, you know, in the hermetic philosophy, it uses very, very strong words, you see. 
that the fools they will remain like this but the wise they come out of it and the wise people do not want to change the laws here or do not want to make it a better place they see it as a best place to be but they you know distance themselves from this place that's why why that's what i ask you again and again and again liberate yourself from this plane get rid of it don't try to improve it it is perfect why can't you see it is so perfect it is a learning ground it is just collection of information patterns what can be more perfect it is ishwar itself you you are trying to improve it <laughs> it does not make any sense so your essence is already pure separate it out from the junk that you accumulated that is liberation that is mukti that is nirvana nothing needs to be done what is the bondage identification with the junk with the dirt with the form and you can you can now see it will take you one minute to disidentify and <laughs> be liberated that is the only bondage it is not that you know there is some law which is keeping you bound here no there is no such thing it is all ignorance ignorance is equal to bondage here the ishwar is ready to teach you ishwar itself is bound it is kind of a big statement isn't it it dissolves it dissolves ultimately it also achieves freedom nothing remains you see that which is manifested becomes potential again this is the kal chakra this is the wheel of the time if you unzip the old philosophy it's it, it you see you will get these gems you will get the treasure of knowledge it is all there so the guides will appear here to teach you the guides are nothing but the forms of the universal mind the guru which is sitting near to you is a form of the universal mind go there get the teaching from there and it is the same thing which is appearing as books is the same thing that appeared as that's the ved and it is the same thing that appears as the internet you see they are all mediums of knowledge transmission if you want to make it exotic yes you can do that you see it is your play it is your playground do it and you but let me tell you to get the essential knowledge you don't need to do it if you want to play is yes, most welcome then you can have any kind of guide that you want and it will appear that is the, that is the magic because it is you only appearing as that exotic form or this form it is you only who is teaching yourself so okay what is anil saying isn't dharma righteousness about helping out other jeev out of ignorance and into vidya like a guiding light or doing the right karma it all the people with true vidya become uh, if all the people with true vidya become aloof from ignorant uh, people and stay in our world okay he is probably asking that <laughs> what if everybody goes away <laughs> what if the you know the knowledgeable people disappear they all attain um, nirvana and then they don't take birth here don't worry it will never happen it will never happen you see it will disappear only with the disappearance of the universal mind now i'll give you a metaphor like an example Ima imagine a big pot and uh, on the fire filled with water now as long as the fire is burning the bubbles will start forming at the bottom you know which is the hot surface of the pot and the bubbles rise up and then disappear in the air now how long this process will happen as long as there is fire and there is water you see they need to totally die out so the universal mind is a process like this the bubbles keep forming the bubbles are the jeev you can for example you know metaphor it keeps flowing like a river you see the bubbles keep forming and they keep rising that does not mean that all you know one day all the bubbles will rise on the top and then what will happen well it it will never happen new bubbles keep forming as long as the process of evolution which i am you know representing it here by fire it's also called the kundalini fire the fire of kundalini <laughs> serpent fire it is funny people come up with all these names it is so funny and also confusing for the newcomers but as long as there is this energy of evolution new individuals new, new jeeves they keep forming they keep arising from the limitless ocean of ishwara or the universal mind and there will never be a total disappearance it can go up and down you see that is the nature of the manifestation that it is built on the cycles 
it will go up and down but never disappears completely you can call it your own duty you see righteousness you should translate it as duty spiritual duty to spread the knowledge yes obviously but don't worry if you don't spread it somebody else will this is human nature this is the nature of the mind actually that if it knows knows something it must tell the others <laughs> this is the nature of the mind it is not only human it is uh, in all the jeeves you can see it in animals also so only that the humans have a big ability to transmit their thoughts that's all and uh, it is a fundamental characteristic of any information system that the information does not stay at one place otherwise it is not of any use it moves around you know it takes form it gets transmitted and uh, makes copies of itself and so on so the universal mind is like this it is not going to stay so even if you don't do the duty which is you know kind of you now not a duty it's your wish it will uh, happen anyway it will uh, the those who are ready they get the knowledge anyway like they say the fruit when it ripe it becomes ripe it falls if there is a desire to spread light and knowledge yes that is not your desire you are not doing it it is the desire of the whole and so it will happen anyway the right karma will happen anyway the wrong is also right because it gives you a lesson isn't it do whatever you want there is a lesson sitting there somehow beautifully the whole manifestation has turned into a vehicle of evolution nothing wrong here nothing right here that is the advanced view that is the ultimate view for the practical yes some things are specified okay if you do like this it will be better it will be more beautiful and you can adopt anything anything that you wish is beautiful anything that you think is beautiful it is not uh, compulsory to spread the knowledge spread the light but it is our nature it is it is the nature of the flower to spread the fragrance that is how that is how it is all kept alive if it were a duty believe me the knowledge would have disappeared long 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 ago <laughs> people don't want to do duty people don't want to do that which is not their nature you cannot force them it becomes very very ugly if you force them because you see if you tell them it is your duty it is your religion it is your dharma it is your it is right it is wrong nobody likes it it is human nature and so it it is continued it will never stop that is my prediction <laughs> so when i say okay become aloof become don't worry don't worry you the world world is not resting on your shoulders yes but if you get attached to the world that oh no, no no i need to be here i need to you know do my duty to enlighten everybody and i'll stay here for as long as it takes that is also good that is also right you see oh, the one who is liberated is liberated now now nothing can bind him the lowest layer the highest layer of the mind nothing will actually have an effect effect on it so such people are called the bodhisattvas so they will take a form they will you know put a form down here which will keep educating people forever so it's all fine that is also fine but uh, the only uh, analogy that i give people when they try to think like this when they their self importance grows beyond the permissible limit is that uh, you see when you are at the bottom of the mountain can you guide others